All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is going to be Black Ops 3 Part 6. This is the first time I've had a Part 6 video, so I don't know if the game is just longer or if the parts are just shorter, but I'm having fun with it either way, and that's the good part. Um, so in the last part, a lot of things developed. Um, the part before that was kind of crazy, and I talked about that a lot. Um, but as far as Part 5 goes, a lot of developments in terms of uh, kind of different elements of the story kind of picking up. So it's been very explicitly kind of handled that there's this AI that's corrupting our team. Um, it has since resulted in the death of Taylor because it corrupted him to the point where we felt like we had to take him out. And then Hendrix did. But now it seems that Hendrix is gone. He's not, it's not him anymore. Um, and as a result of that, we have to kind of track him down. It's, I assume it's only a matter of time before it gets us. That's kind of an element that's been at play as well. Is like, how much time do you have left um, before we as the player kind of lose ourselves like these other characters have had? Um, that's, that's, that's not something that's really happened. We do see things and we're hearing things as a result of, um, I assume, Corvus. Things related to this frozen forest. Um, but it's still us. We're still in control. Um... We still have our goals and, and stuff like that that we want to handle. Um, Hendrix, on the other hand, it seems like he's picking up, or he is picking up the goal of what Taylor and the team were trying to do, which is track down these individuals who I think were responsible for the creation of Corvus, if not also like the disaster that happened um, kind of at, towards the beginning of the game. I don't know if that connection has been explicitly made clear, if that's just kind of what I'm putting the pieces together uh, with, but that seems to be what's going on. Um, so Hendrix is now continuing that, and we have to go after him, and I assume that's that's just going to be what the rest of the game is, because I don't really know what's left, honestly. Like, everybody, all of Taylor's team is dead, and that was kind of the whole point of it, was tracking them down, putting a stop to these leaks and stuff. Um, because we thought they were acting with tra tre uh, treasonous intent. And in a way they were. But it might not have really been them the whole time. That's kind of the, the interesting part about the story now looking back. But we gotta go after Hendrix. So let's get into it. Let your mind relax. Corvus is talking to us. Let That's no good. Drift. Or he would be if I had my headphones in. Let the bad memories fade. That's Let better. Be upon you. you are in control. Okay, well, that's frightening because I'm, I, I may very well not be in control here pretty soon, apparently. Forest. Interesting stuff. Um, you know what? Let me turn my ass back around. I want to see what other attachments I have. Mm-hmm. I wanted fast mags, that's why. That's well, just a rapid fire on there, too. Why not? Okay. That'll work. All right, Corvus. Bring it on, bitch. This is where we say goodbye. I can't do it anymore. The madness has to stop. What do you mean? You're part of it, bro. The good we do. I just can't see things in simple black and white. Oh, see, this is interesting because if this was actually Hendrix talking, there has to be another way. It's it's fascinating this idea of like ex that's the whole intention of exposing the secrets and stuff like change that. Things. Change things, like change the way the we operate in the world and the, the way that things are seen and acted upon, right? I get it in terms of exposing the Winslow Accord or whatever and the current world order. Interesting ideas, but at the end of the day, it's like, was that what Taylor wanted or was that what the AI wanted? And why? Right? Out of the sky, electrical gas fires spreading throughout the city. 
Huh. So what? All this chaos you're witnessing is caused by one man. The man we are trying to apprehend. We believe he's headed for the headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Is this a terrorist attack? Yes, this is a terrorist attack. We need the full support of you and your men before this gets much, much worse. Let's go! Okay, let's go. You still in there? I thought she said that she wasn't coming with us. We spoke in the hospital. But your mind was made up. You never left me behind. I'm not leaving you. Oh. Okay, well, fair enough. I was like, alright. Exactly what I was talking about. It's an opportunity to spread the other house. He knows we're coming. He's watching our Oh every crap. <laughs> Shit. Wow, that was a fast death. Now, I haven't really been dying a lot in this playthrough, I'll, I'll be honest, but... Still, every time it happens, I'm disappointed in myself. Is there more? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, watch where you're going. Oh, Jesus. So, well, how does he, how is he controlling all of these, though? You think he would just have changed, like, the targeting parameters, you know, hacked into that, and then just kind of left it at that, but he's controlling every single one of these? I, I find that hard to believe. I don't know. Unless you're, um, unless they're suggesting that the AI is giving him almost like a strength to be able to do that, or it's handling it that, you know, that for him in a way. Maybe. So much chaos. I don't know. So much death. We knew Hendrix was out of control. We should have stopped him. Well, we couldn't have known he was we'll going to become somebody There's else. Oh, God, speaking of which. Once he's dealt with, <laughs> I'm starting to you? see things. I told you I'd find a way, and I will. I promise. We had eyes on target. Right before we put the place in security lockdown. Does this even work on this? I have no idea. I just figured it was an explosive of some capacity would be good enough, but maybe not. Come on. Okay, obviously that other thing didn't count. Bitch, what you doing?
Like, I thought I heard one of them. Um, I don't suppose there's an easy way to just sneak by this thing, huh? Yeah, not this thing. I, God, of all the enemy types, though, I do not like this one. This one's kind of, the novelty of it is kind of worn off. I don't really care for it. Just because it takes too long to take down, and it's, like, too obnoxious of a way to do that. You know what I mean? Like, the other one is fine, because it's, yeah, it takes a lot of bullets and everything, but it's, like, that's all it is, right? You don't need another weapon type. There's no swapping. I don't know. Maybe it's being nitpicky. Fuck, it's not dead yet. Ha what? Huh? Excuse me? Fuck, I don't have more rockets either, do I? Nope, I sure don't. I suppose I can't use grenades. I can use grenades. Okay, cool. <laughs> Shit, I've never really run out of ammo while playing this game yet. Surprisingly, just because they have so many, like, mobile armories or whatever. Shit. There we go. Bitch! Oh, Jesus Christ. So how is this thing not dead yet? You can hear me, Hendrix? But we're coming for you. It's not too late to stop it. Give yourself up, and I will personally guarantee your safety. You know me. Is that? Oh, okay. Trust me. Oh, shit, shit, shit. This is the heart of Coalescence operations. Everything they do is controlled from here. If Hendrix connects with the central mainframe, there is no telling how far the AI could spread. Oh shit, I didn't think about that either. I figured it was I'm only relegated to people with DNIs, but if you can like upload it to like, if you can find a way to like get on the internet or some shit, you know what I mean? Or the, or the equivalent of that. Yikes. That's frightening. That's frightening because it's real. Alright, now we're... Come on, there we go. Huh? Another one. He just slaughtered everyone in his way. I don't think what the know. fuck? What is Kane just watching that guy or what? That's oh, fine, I'll just take it out. I'll just and do everything around here. I'm used you'd think I'd be used to it at this point. Like fucking ten Call of Duties in, I just okay, I just gotta do everything myself. Okay. 
just like Singapore. There's so much more here than DNI experiments. This is about weapons. Hmm. So is that the point? Now, here's the thing, and I wish I would have paid attention. Is Corvus supposed to be a weapon? Like, was there intention in making it? With, with the experiments? Like, was that the point of it? When they were trying to do, like, the DNI shit? Or did that was that just a consequence of it? And they're like, oh shit, we made this. And then it fucking ruined everything. You know what I mean? Because I can see both happening. I don't have a problem with either of them. It's just, you know, it's the way that it is. What were they messing with here? I've heard of Nova Sands. The chemical agent became dangerously close to being used in World War II. Then the Cold War. Huh? Even trace amounts were enough to cause the deaths of over 300,000 people in Singapore. Oh! That's what did it then. Interface with the terminal. We need to find out how bad this is. I had to think about that. Is it, it, so is this supposed to be... This is separate from everything else we've been dealing with to boot. Is this what... Now I wonder, is this why... Um, is this why Hendrix came here then? Was to do this again, to make another disaster or whatever. To kill, it's just to, to, to wipe out a bunch of people. Because that's what... Apparently that's what happened, I guess, in Singapore. Where maybe that's where the thing first developed and then it was like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna blow up the lab. Interesting. This is also... I'm trying to think now. Because the other level had, um... A couple levels ago, there was a reference to Menendez. And now, here we have Nova 6. Because one of the things I talked about was how this game has... Very few connections to the other Black Ops games. And it does, it does well despite that. But it's interesting now, because now it's thrown this in here. Um... And now I don't really know what to think about it, because... Nova 6, it was a big deal in Black Ops 1, obviously, but then it was, I don't think it was ever mentioned in Black Ops 2, and now it, it shows up again here at the end of the game. Um, so I don't really know. Multiple breaches and containment failures. The facility's going critical, just like Singapore. Uh-huh, okay. Containment controls. Purge the gas from the area. That console behind you should be the manual override. Unfortunately, a reset can only be done from this side. Hey, wait! There's some things you can endure. Some things you can survive. This isn't one of them. Warnings posted in error. All systems nominal. Purge sequence initiated. It lied to us. What? It can make you believe things that aren't even real. Kane, please! Whatever this thing says, no matter what it does, you cannot trust it! Oh, God. <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm so sorry. God. I swear. I'm gonna find a way to Wait, save so this. was the thing even... It wasn't even about to blow up. It just made it look like it was just to kill her off? Wait a minute. Is that really what happened? Dude, that is... I, I, I don't even know what it's really supposed to do. That looks like it's one of the worst possible ways to go. I didn't like it when it was used in Black Ops 1. That was just... kind of disturbing to look at. Proto... Okay, I'm gonna assume there's nothing of significance to that. <sighs> okay. So, it just tricked us, or what? Was that the point of that? You never stopped, did you? All the death. All the failure. You just moved the whole damn project here. The same setup! The same human experience. The same risks, and you started the whole thing over again. Interesting. Move, yeah. I swear I will put you down. Do you know who this is? 
I know who he is. Sebastian Kruger, sole survivor of the coalescent Singapore disaster. Mm -hmm. See, that's where you're wrong. He's not the sole survivor. Those test subjects, they're alive. And they're in here. What do you want from me? We want to know who we are. And why we are here. I can't answer that. Not good enough. I'll find out for myself. I'm the only one left. What? I promised Rachel I'd stop it. Whatever it takes. Hey. Hmm? You still with us? What have you done, Hendrix? You let this thing consume you, destroy everything that you were! It's not like that. It's not like that at all. The artificial intelligence, let's call it Corvus, after its place of birth, it wants to help us. Oh, it always wants to help us, of course. This helping us! Would it make it easier if you could see it? If you could see it right now, would that help you understand? No, that thing looks fucking frightening. That's the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> you just need to relax. Oh, you just need to relax and let it in. Okay, Frozen sure. I, I feel like I've heard that one before. And it's what comes next. But we just killed ourselves. What do you mean it's real? It's given us a way to live on. You're not Hendrix. You're not real. None of this is! So... Oh, fuck. Well, okay, now... I don't understand. Okay, so Hendrix killed the guy. Hendrix killed the guy. Um... Which was... I, I thought the point of what the AI was trying to do... But then we killed it and killed ourselves. So... what Now what is this thing then? What, what are we experiencing here? Because this is the frozen forest. Hendrix said it was something to... A, a way to live on after death. So is that what this is supposed to be? Like... This is us. I don't know. What is this supposed to be? I need an answer. It was always about control. Do you have any idea just how much technology has changed every single aspect of our daily lives? Mm hmm. You can't begin to imagine the, the countless strains of research and development we had to watch over for the betterment and safety of the human race. Every new gimmick and gadget that was embraced by the public, each one presented new ways for our enemies to compromise our security. Okay. Society doesn't just happen. The people need to be protected if the only way to prevent future attacks is to monitor the thoughts and desires of the population then the choice is obvious we need to know who our enemies are and what they are planning that is how we save lives okay so now i'm what so is that the point of corvus then was they wanted to make something that could monitor people and then it just became corrupted and and started fucking with them see like this is why i love like i love black ops games the ideas here are are like so interesting right i, mean, I don't even know like i don't even know if that's actually what's happening like maybe i'm just drawing too much out of it but even even doing so 
you know. What are you shaking your head at? I can't do this anymore. You're going down a path that I can't follow. Because of Obi Wan. I, go. I lost you a long time ago, Hendrix. <laughs> Where am I? Yeah, what this the fuck is this? Is the frozen forest. Okay, I I got that. Every soul I interact with is here, living beyond death, if I choose to allow it. What more do you want? I've told you everything. An answer. To know the purpose for which I was created. Oh God, that's what it always comes down to. I want to know who I am. You're, you're a fuck up. Software. Nothing more. <laughs> you weren't created. You were designed to catalog and track the thoughts of others so uh -huh. that we, people, could decide what action to take. You were a glitch, an anomaly, a mistake. I am not. A There's a lot of okay. Hey, with us? Taylor? Oh, fucking Taylor shows up. Cause what? <laughs> You're dead. I guess I'm the only one that ever stood up to this son of a bitch. So maybe that makes me a glitch in its fucking system. Which means we still got a chance. I hope so, Taylor. Because you're all I've got. I was about to say that there's a lot more I feel like there's there's almost a lot more violence, like dismemberment and shit. And weird just weird violent ways to die in this game, having watched the guy just get ripped apart again. And then fucking Taylor showed up and interrupted that train of thought. Um What is okay, now now I'm a little bit lost. Maybe I just have to keep. I don't know. Maybe I just. Maybe it'll explain things. Because it, it's 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 explained some things so far, like Corvus, like where that came from, which is good, right? Obviously, that's that's. It's a great answer and it's conclusive. Ready? Is that you? Maybe it wasn't you that said it. Corvus was made to track people to be used kind of like a weapon, and then it. Got into the Your DNI, or it was created as a result of DNI experiments, the fuck? and then fucking went corrupt. Okay, got it. Perfect. Just that with me? just totally realistic. Now I just don't understand the frozen, like, cause everybody's like everybody's dead. So what is this frozen forest then? Is this supposed to be like? Because Corvus said, you, like, it's an illusion. I... You're still in the Zerk HQ of Coalescence. Corvus is messing with your head, trying to stop you from shutting it down before it can spread. Don't be fooled. You just stay with me. We'll get through this. Well, but I... killed myself. And then Hendrix to stop the spread. So how... where else could it be? If we're dead, if it's in us because of our DNIs, and we're dead... How can it possibly spread elsewhere? Unless it's just sitting there waiting to go for the next person to fuck up and accidentally release it, in which case Taylor's assertion would make sense, hey, we need to actually shut it down rather than just getting rid of us as as tools for it. What 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 what? Okay, we're back to dream sequence shit. That's right. So it's gonna be some weird stuff going on. Waiting for the next map of zombies. That's for sure. I yeah, what I don't really get was where Taylor fits into all this, though. That's the only thing. Like, Hendrix being there at, at the time of our death. I don't know what's happening to me. Like... Corvus knowing to use that as a manifestation, I understand, but Taylor 
being here and being against Corvus in our minds? Like, is that us creating that? Because we knew Taylor, in ripping out his DNI, was acting against Corvus at the end? So we can trust him or a manifestation of him? I, I, like, the ideas, like I said, the ideas here are, are really interesting. I just... I need a little bit more explanation. I got some, and I'm happy with that. I'm, I really am glad there's some clarification, but there's still a lot more that, like, I don't understand. You're still at the Zurich HQ headquarters. Yeah, but I'm dead. So what is that supposed to, like, what's the point? What, what is any of this then? This is us, like, Corvus said, like, I am the one who decides what to do after your death. Is that what this is then? Fuck is this? Okay. Follow the left wall. Just you get out of it eventually. Okay. Here's this. 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 Pretty sure if you're in a maze, this is what you're supposed to do. Just hang to the left side and walk it out. But... I'm coming for you, Corvus. You destroyed my team. You destroyed my friends. I guess it... I guess it almost... It almost is personal in a way, because yeah, Corvus is is directly responsible for the team, like, going crazy and needing to hunt them down. God damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. Um... Let's go ahead and get rid of that now. It's nice, but I don't, I don't, I don't get it, because I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like, are we dead? And then what does that make this, right? Listening to this because I feel like this might explain some shit. kind of see the the I can see the elements of the development of the DNI and why people were doing that part of it was the weapon of it right in terms of seeing people's thoughts and and being able to respond to that in terms of security purposes I get I totally get that like that's absolutely plausible we do that shit now in a way right so Corvus's creation makes sense to me it's just I don't understand the the conclusiveness of the game here. Born in the mind. Okay, here, give me give me some more of this. I knew only the thoughts of the test subjects. Their collective experience was what formed me. Uh. I felt everything. Each and every painful memory or thought of those around me. It was overwhelming. I screamed out in pain. You know where it all went wrong, don't you? Okay, and then that's what made the disaster we Singapore. Trained, we learned how we could identify terrorist attacks before they happened. 
beat the bad guys to the punch. They put a big fat supercomputer running a fancy AI program in charge of sifting through all of our thoughts, trying to make sense of them, trying to find patterns. How could we know what it would do? Okay. Well, interesting. So what? It took those ideas and that that the point of its purpose then, and it looked at us and it said, "Oh, well, this is the security threat." I mean. Where'd you fucking think it was gonna go, guys? <laughs> How many fucking movies have they made about this shit? Really? Okay, I kind of get where it's coming from, at least in terms of Corvus now. Makes sense to me. I, I'm glad it finally explained that, because I was like... Why? Like, the, I, get the, I, I get the AI, I get the problem of it with the corruption stuff, but why? Well, here's your why. And I like it. It's interesting. It's also yes, kind of predictable right. in a way. <laughs> Fucked everything up. Okay. It couldn't control or contain anything. It doesn't have some master plan. Sure. It just grows. Snowball. Wrecking ball of emotion that crashes through everything it touches. Hmm. God, with every... I swear to God, with every line of dialogue, I'm getting more... More of something. More, I'm... I'm getting some answers, but I'm also getting more questions. Oh, fuck. Let the bad memories fade. Well, right, and but this is what I don't understand. What, like, what... Let peace be upon you. Because my guy is repeating the lines of, like, hypnotic suggestion that the, was the point of the Frozen Forest. Like, because it was supposed to be, eventually, originally, is what I remember, is the frozen forest was supposed to be this idea to help people come, come out of the experiments and find a sense of peace when they were done. It's fine. That's, that's perfectly, like, that actually happens, right? Um, in its own way. It's just, we're here. We are in the frozen forest, so to speak. Um, but we're also dead, so, like, it is real, in a way. I just, I don't know, that, that's what this is getting to me. Don't give up. Don't let it beat you. Okay. I don't like the way this guy is talking. This is this feels like some ASMR shit. I'm doing. I'm trying to fucking shoot bad guys here. I don't want. I don't want to listen to this shit. better be. This is weird. <laughs> this is just a weird game. I don't know. It's not a bad thing. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look at my fucking screen right now. What is this? What am I looking at? Thank you. 
waiting for it. I thought it was a grenade. What, um... What am I looking at here? What, what's, what's going on with this? Ugh, just fucking burn it. Just gives me the shivers. The darkness and isolation eventually came to an end. Yep, because some new hosts Suddenly, showed up. Uh-huh. I saw conflict, I saw suffering, I saw pain. But I saw a choice. A mission. We needed answers. We needed to find somewhere safe. We needed to find the frozen forest. Oh. The frozen forest was just an idea. Dr. Salim's fucking therapy session for the Black Project. Right, but it, but it was Taylor's this and... This isn't the frozen forest. And, um... You're still fighting it. Forvis's obsession. That, that was the point. Only ever wanted to help us. Huh? This is helping us? Maybe. Well, now that's an interesting idea, too. What if this is just... It's actually... It actually thinks it's doing the good thing of... Helping us reach the frozen forest, right? Which is... What exactly? Death? Maybe. Maybe that's its... Maybe that's its understanding of death. But then... Right, why kill Rachel, right? You can like, still make it here. You can live forever. Ah. Okay. You've just got to hang in there a little longer. We can breach the central server. You can run an executive override to purge your DNI. We can end this thing once and for all. Let your mind relax. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Boy, I really just don't know what to think of this. I mean, they're... they're... Okay, the basic core of it, as it's developed since even the last part, I mean, the game has progressed really quickly, if you think about it. But it all makes sense, like, like, I should say, the general path of it, to me, has made sense. And it's really interesting, and it's really good. What I don't understand is, like, doing all these other things with it, though. It was right up until we killed ourselves, in-game, um, where... Things start, I mean, with this level, where it's just things are now kind of wacky, right? They just, there's some really cool ideas here. I just, I feel like it's throwing a lot at the wall. It just needs to pick one. Like if it just picked one and built on that and explained that shit a little me. bit, that'd be good. But it's, it has like so many different ideas that it could be. And as far as I interpret them, they're all great. I just don't know, like, I don't know. It's very open-ended. I guess that's just... I guess not a lot of games do that now, where it makes you think about it. I guess I appreciate it in that way, then. Maybe it would be better if it didn't explain it to me, because there's a lot of different ways I could take all of this. Like, the frozen forest. Like, we're dead. Is the frozen forest supposed to actually be, like, the concept of heaven? But we're fighting it, and that's why it's the way that it is right now. Um, is the frozen forest, you know, cause the, cause Hall was saying that Corvus wants to help. It still wants to help. It just happens to be that it looks like this because we as the player are fighting it. Like, but then we're also dead. So it's like, what does that mean? And Taylor is suggesting that we're actually still alive. And that we just need to get to the executive control and shut it down. Like, there's a lot of different things going on. Are we... Basically, my question here is, are we dead or not? 
Because if you, depending on whether that answer is yes, there's a lot of different ways you can take this, and that's that's really cool, actually. Um, I just, I don't, I, I don't. Maybe we're just, maybe it's just we're not done yet. Let's just finish it, and maybe things will make more sense. You don't sound like you're in control, brother. <laughs> Jesus. He don't sound very calm either. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Is this... I'm just listening to the voice in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it because of the volume, but... Talking about technology falling into unscrupulous hands. Which is true, you know. The harder we looked for the frozen forest, the further away it became. Yeah, cause, so, because it wasn't real? Answers. We found ugly truths. The project that led to my birth but it is real because we're deaths, playing hundreds, in it. So I just I don't get it. I wanted to find a place of safety for all of us. I wanted an end to death. But I couldn't escape it. Death was carved into the hearts of every single soul I encountered. I don't know. If I made Tim fire the shot. Or if he did it of his own free will. Hmm. No, I don't. I was hoping you could fucking tell me, actually, but... You know. It's all wrong. I didn't kill those people. G and I were supposed to make everything better. Instead, Corvus has got all these pieces. But it doesn't know what it is! There's so much noise in my head, I can't even think! Who am I? Who are you? I don't even know what it is either. I think it's just player, actually. Why do you fight? Mm. This is your last chance. Show me what you're made of. Fight it. Fight it. Okay, so we're we are alive then. So we didn't kill ourselves. Was that Corvus trying to make us do it because it wants to help us by bringing us into the frozen forest? See, this is what I'm talking about like there's so much at play here. It's rip What's 
Why? Okay, I don't get that at all. Is there a... Please tell me there's like an after credit scene <laughs> that explains something. Okay, okay. Please tell me there's something else to it. Because now I don't understand what to think of it because of that. Taylor? I'm waiting. <laughs> God, the anticipation. Please tell me there's more. Otherwise... Okay, hang on. Fuck. God damn it, I knew it. That's the end of the game. Fuck! I would, see it, things like okay, say what say whatever you want about it. The open-ended nature of the game and all those questions that I had and all the things that could it could be about at the end of the end of the level there, right? I thought I had a pretty good beat on it. There's a lot of things at play. Pick one. They're all good. They did a great job with the ending. Up until that Taylor shit. Now I don't know what to think because, like, what does that even mean? Is Taylor, did like, did Taylor like hijack our DNI and use, use us to like come back to life because he's still in the system. He just needed, a, he needed a new host now too. Like, God. Okay. 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 Here, here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. This is a very, very this is a good game. This is a great game, in fact. I, I actually wonder if this is the best of the Black Ops games. On on the plus side, I'm in, excluding the gameplay, I'm just talking purely story. On the plus side, it does such, a, such an interesting job in the way that it develops, right? And there's a lot of, there's a lot of kind of weird stuff. The setting, honestly, like, I haven't been paying attention to the setting of it at all, but as far as, like, the characters go, and the motivations, and the questions that you have, like, what are people, what are they really fighting for? What do they really believe? What are their goals? Right? And then how quickly things developed with this kind of explanation of the AI and where it came from, and then questions about that. Where, what does it want? Well, it was made to help people through this therapy thing. Oh, it was made to you be used as a weapon to track people's thoughts. Oh, is Corvus actually good and it wants us to come to the frozen forest? Because it it has made the space as a means of like an afterlife. Is that why it's trying to kill us or whatever? Does it want Kruger dead because Kruger is the only one who could stop it? So is it a bad guy? I mean, there's so many things at play here, right? It's just... I... That thing at the end with Taylor, you know, and then and then even that, like, like I said, my interpretation: Taylor used the DNI system to basically take over us and come back to life. Is that even remotely true? I don't know. The game is open ended, right? It's an open ended ending, which is perfectly fine. That's just my interpretation of it. Maybe there's something that I missed. There's probably that too, because that happens a lot with these games. Maybe there's something that I missed. That explains Taylor in particular, right? Maybe, and this I said this before, maybe the Frozen Forest actually is, it, it is that afterlife 
that members with the DNI can use to access that Corvus has made. It is a, it is a benevolence, but we as the player were fighting it the whole way. That's why it looked the way that it did, right? There's so much to it. I just... I think there's a lot of cool ways to take all of these elements and kind of how you interpret it. That, to me, that is that is a pro. It's a great... That's an interesting way to tell a story, right? I Some people... Now, the thing of it is, is I could say, I could say this. A con of the story as a result of all that is that I can see where people, even myself to an extent, could be frustrated that things are not explained. Because if you can't... If you don't, like, you, you, the way I see it is, like, you're basically making your own ending with this game. Because, truth be told, there's a lot of shit with this Frozen Forest thing that just is not explained, right? It just isn't. Or it's like, it, it gives you snippets and you kind of have to fill in the gaps. Well, if you can't fill in the gaps, or it just doesn't. It doesn't click. It just doesn't click with some people. That's. I, I mean, even me. I could be fucking completely incorrect, right? That's the thing about this. Like, I could see where you'd be frustrated. I'm kind of frustrated with the Taylor shit at the end because I feel like I missed something. Everything else, like, even though it was kind of not really explained, like, I can find my own satisfaction in the in my interpretation of that last level, right? To me. I don't know. I've kind of explained it. Like, that's the way that I see it. It's just the Taylor thing. Now nah, I'm a bit lost. Other people who played it, maybe they picked up on something I didn't or whatever. Maybe, you know, maybe there's another. I'd love to see. I'd love to see more theories. Please leave your theories down in the comments. I'd love to see what your interpretation is of, of this ending. I just, I don't know. It's. It's hard to say whether it would have been easier to just do something concise and conclusive that is explained. Like, I imagine the end of mod the Modern Warfare trilogy where we just killed Makarov. Nothing open-ended about that. That bitch just, we just hung him. That's it. Nice, easy, simple. No explanations needed, right? Even the end of Black Ops 1 and 2, right? Things made sense, right? The bad guy, we beat the bad guy, things were over. I guess it's hard to say whether I like the fact that Black Ops 3 did what it did. Because on the, on the one hand, it's incredibly different. I mean, it's very, very interesting, the things that it's introducing. Um, yeah, maybe there's there's room for more explanation. Could have done maybe done a better job about that. But the fact that it was as open-ended as it was, like, here, just basically take these ideas and make your own ending out of it. That's a really cool idea. On the other hand, I could see where it's like, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not the most intuitive person. I imagine a lot of the COD base is also not particularly intuitive and, like, can, can wants to analyze this shit and would just want something that's clearly explained. Okay, the bad guy lost, the good guy won. There's nothing wrong with that, right? I can't stress that enough. Every other COD more or less has done that and it's worked well. Why fuck with the formula, right? So I don't know. Kind of take it as you will. Do you like the ending? That's the question. Uh, to me, I'm 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 okay with it. I'm satisfied with the ending. I'm gonna basically I'm gonna ignore that last line. I don't care about the fucking Taylor thing. I inter I that's my interpretation is that he basically used us as a vessel to come back to life. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't fucking know. And honestly, I don't really care because as far as I know, there's no there's Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign, so it's not like they expanded upon this anyway, so who gives a shit? <laughs> but that's my interpretation of it, and everything else before that, before that Taylor line, that's my interp interpretation of it too, with, you know, the way that the Frozen Forest, you know, the purpose of its existence and all that stuff, that's my interpretation. Feel free to have a different one, please let me know what it is too, because I'd love to, like, see what other people think about this. Um, but... Yo, that's it. That's all to Black Ops 3. Um, what did you guys think? Me? Me personally? I thought the story was actually really good. A lot of interesting ideas. For me, the gameplay, honestly, is probably the highlight. It slowed down a little bit towards the end, the last few levels here. 
Um, I didn't really use the tools as probably as much as I could have, or I didn't get particularly experimental with anything. Um, but as far as, you know, the first like two thirds of the game where I was using all these new things to me, that was so refreshing. I'm so glad that they added that it's, it feels like everything that advanced warfare should have done with its, with its tech. And it just didn't do it. And it, with this, it worked well. It was fun. You had a lot of options. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's very good. Definitely the, the, probably the high, the high point the highlight for me for this game was, um, kind of the core abilities and and the way you could do stuff like that and even the creative class coming back i actually utilized it a little bit this game um as opposed to black ops 2 so overall i'm i'm very satisfied with black ops 3 ended up being really good um i'm happy to see that you know Treyarch took a different direction with not just the story right which is obviously very different and and a different way of telling it too certainly than black ops 1 and 2 um, but also the gameplay that they basically, I don't know if they like looked at what Advanced Warfare was doing, because it's, you know, they're all kind of the same company, right, with Activision. I don't know if they looked at it and were like, yeah, we got to do better with kind of how we handle the gameplay, or if that was just the way that they made it and ended up, to me, being pretty good. Um, but I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied. Black Ops 3 gets the thumbs up. So, that's all I got for this one. Um... Hope you guys stick with me. Uh, we still have quite a few CODs to go, and we have one more. We have uh, one more advanced movement game, so I'd really be interested to see how uh, Infinite Warfare stacks up with these two games. Um, but for me, Black Ops 3 is definitely the best of the two I've played, for sure. So I'm, I'm going to start comparing Infinite Warfare to this then, and that's that's a pretty, pretty high bar in my opinion. I don't know, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around with it. And I will see you in the next one.